Hello, I'm Sergeis and welcome to the Mesh to HRTF version 1 tutorial. In this video we will cover how to install and configure Mesh to HRTF. As usual, you should open the link in the description to a written tutorial that is both more up-to-date and contains actual links that I will be clicking on during this video. So let's look at the instructions together and I will show you every step on this Windows computer. If you are using Linux or Mac, most of these steps will be the same, but you are welcome to ask for extra support in the comments. Remember that Linux and Mac OS are the primary mesh to HRTF platforms, while Windows is mostly supported by me. We are going to start by downloading the necessary files. So we open up this link, it gets us to the actual code. Uh, currently we are using this fork, but uh, later you probably going to be using a master branch. So we just click download snapshot and save it. We go back to the tutorial. We also will get the mesh to HRTF tools. Same thing, we click on download snapshot and save. Then we need to download Blender. No big deal. We go to Blender, click Download Blender, Download Blender. If you are on Linux, there are probably other ways to do it, but again, we are doing on Windows. Save. As it's downloading, we are also going to download the example Blender file. We click Save. Before we go on with Python, let's look at our Downloads folder. So we go to Downloads and uh, we're going to extract this contents. I'm not sure where exactly I'm extracting it. I just click Next. Here we go. We get a strange folder and the actual contents. So we're going to quickly rename it to just Mesh to HRTF tools and we cut it from here and put it into somewhere on this PC. Let's put it down on the C disk. It will be one folder and then in, in here we also have the actual Mesh to HRTF files. Extract all, extract. I usually have 7-zip installed but not on this computer. So Yes, that's the folder inside. So we'll delete the unnecessary characters. And here is our folder. Again, we do cut and paste here. Windows 11. So we can close this. And let's install Blender. We double click, click next, accept, next. Next, install. Here is our example file. I will move it to the tools folder. We'll, we'll use it later. So, Blender is installed. Let's see where is Blender. Click Windows. Blender into taskbar. Here it is. We can open it as well. Next. General. It's working. So let's go back to tutorial. Next step is Python. To install Python there are several options. If you already have Python, that's great. If you don't, then uh, we, we will, in this case, install Python on this computer and directly into it install Mesh to HRTF. There are certain risks doing this. If you have a lot of things installed in Python, usually we're talking about custom code, then they can start conflicting with each other. Therefore, a lot of people are using virtual environments where Anaconda Miniconda is a great solution, but we will be doing it the simple way. So, for direct Python installation, what do we need to do? We need to open command prompt. We open the start menu and just start typing cmd and enter. So now, if we type in Python, 
hit enter, I got the Windows Store opening, which means that I do not have Python installed on this computer, and it offers me to download the latest version of Python 3.10. I know for sure that this version works, but in case you would like to use a different one, as you can see as I start typing Python, it offers me different versions. And for example, 3.9 is more compatible with other scripts currently, so you could choose whichever version you like. I will actually install, let's take 3.9 and press get. If we go back to the command prompt and type Python. It shows us a Python version, which is 3.9. Perfect. So the next step will be to browse to the correct folder. And you could do here CD and type on, but let's do it the easy way. We have our mesh.hrtf folder. Where we want to go is the folder from the mesh.hrtf git. And right here we have setup.p file, which is exactly what we want. So you can either right click and say open Windows terminal here, or be more geeky and type in cmd here. And you open command line exactly in the folder where you want to be. We continue to the Python package installation. So we skipped the section about how to install Anaconda, because we are going with the simple installation. So what we need, want to do first is pip install. So we copy this and paste it here and hit enter. Pip just installed the necessary dependency for running numcalc manager. If there are some issues with this, you can use some fail safes. Then the next thing we need to do is to install mesh to hrdf. Don't forget the dot. We copy, paste it, hit enter. Now what it does is it is reading information written in setup.pi and installing everything we need. Looks like everything's installed. So we can close this. There is an optional part about testing. Uh, in this case, I will not install it. So let's configure Blender to create mesh to HRDF projects. So we need to go to Blender. We already have it open. It says we need to go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install. Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install. And now we need to tell it where is our export mesh to hrtf.py file. Local disk here, git mesh to hrtf, mesh to input. And here is the file we want to install. And click Install Add-on. I believe it should already be installed. Yes. So we need to tick this box to actually enable it. And also notice here is a path where is it installed. So in case you need to find or modify this file, you can actually locate it in this place. So now if you go to File, Export, you should see mesh to hrtf exporter with all its options is available. That's it for Blender. Now let's look at the main mesh to hrdf simulation program. In fact, if you are on Windows and you have downloaded mesh to hrdf tools, then you're already done. Let me just demonstrate. We go to local disk C. Here in the tools folder, we have numcalcmanager.py, which is a manager script for it. If we double click it, it shows us that there is no projects to run, but actually the script is already ready to run. And it executes the numcalc windows exe file, which is the compiled windows binary of it. If you do not have the latest version, you can always recompile it. There are instructions for it for Windows. It takes a little bit of steps, but in general, it's quite easy. If you are on Linux or Mac, then you do need to recompile it, but it is extremely easy and you practically just need to type in make command line in the correct folder. Finally, there are some optional and alternative packages listed in this tutorial. You can look through this section, but there is nothing really necessary here. We are basically done. And uh, one last thing I want to mention is 
please do not move the main folder after you install the Python script. It has to stay in this location for Python uh, to find the necessary files. And also Blender will be using some files from this location later on. So thank you for trying out Mesh2HRTF and see you in the next video.